Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist practicing in Florida and New York virtually, and I have a physical practice in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Today we are talking about bitter melon. Bitter melon is, if you have never heard of it, is an herb. Uh, it's actually a food, and that's used in India as a, as a food, as a spice, and whatever you call it. And there are a lot of good beneficial properties for diabetics. And here we are. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. So bitter melon. Why am I talking about it? Well, number one, I want to let you know the benefits of bitter melon. And number two, to be honest with you, we use bitter melon a lot in my practice. Now, we don't hand bitter melon to patients, uh, of course, you know, that's kind of hard to do and people don't know what to do with it, but it comes in a herbal formulation. So I used to use a lot of uh, bitter melon on my diabetic patients because they can, some of them cannot afford their medication. Some of them are just not medication people. They just want something natural. And for those people, we have been using this a lot. Now, we have been using a lot of other herbs that I'm going to talk about. Uh, and as you may know, that we have a new supplement. It's called Dr. Ergin's Sugar MD Advanced Glucose Support. It is available on our website at sugarmds.com and available on amazon.com as well. So we use bitter melon in that supplement. We use 12 other herbs. Why we did that? Because I know you guys are going and buying this supplement, that supplement. You know, they, they kind of work, right? They kind of, you know, when you get them together. But then you you pay $10 for this, $15 for this. And then you, next thing you know, you have $100, $200 of supplement, which is the same cost as a medication. So, you know, but I, I what I did here, I actually collected all those herbs that I know that worked for my patients. And we created one supplement all in one together uh, in a pharmaceutical grade product that is produced in the USA. And we have bitter melon in it. <clears throat> now, why do we have bitter melon in it? Well, bitter melon is one of the most potent anti-diabetic agents. It helps. It is very natural. It actually not only helps your blood sugar, it also helps your cholesterol, uh, especially for people with high triglyceride levels. The triglyceride levels come down. Bitter melon also helps your insulin secretion when you need it. So as a result, you know, people who take bitter melon end up taking less insulin if they are already on insulin. So what else? The bitter melon also has been shown to actually reduce the cancer risk. Now, the studies are mostly either animal studies or retrospective studies. And, you know, you can find these studies on PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D. That's the national library for all the scientific studies. And you can read about it if you have time. But guys, a lot of benefits from bitter melon. It is still used in Eastern countries all the time. In Western countries, as you know, you don't really hear that much. You only hear the TV commercials about uh, the medications uh, that cost uh, hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars. But uh, definitely a bitter melon is a great alternative to your diabetic needs. Now, does it have weight loss? It does, actually. It does. It's not the greatest weight loss i don't use it just for the you know just for weight loss you know i don't want to promise too much but it does help it has a modest effect on weight loss as well so what are we achieving with with our melon we are achieving some weight loss we are achieving anti-cancer properties we are achieving lowering the glucose or balancing the glucose and we are achieving lowering the triglyceride levels and overall cholesterol levels so Again, guys, if you would like to ask questions and comments, you're more than welcome. We'll definitely answer your questions about this. And remember to check our supplement as well. It is called Dr. Ergen's Sugar MD Advanced Glucose Support. And let us know what you think about the supplement as well. I would recommend using the supplement at least a week or two, two tablets twice a day, and try not to have snacks in between your meals. And I think you will love it because in my practice, I use it all the time. And when people use it correctly, they get the benefit. But I would suggest at least staying on it for a week or two before you make any judgment on it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later.